Hello, my name is Lumiel, and this is the Bloodborne Lore Through, where we play through Bloodborne and focus on the lore. In the previous episode, we played through the Upper Cathedral Ward and the Orphanage, and we fought the um, Celestial Emissary in the Lumen Flower Garden before making our way through a window down and fighting Abradus, Daughter of the Cosmos. Uh, I wanted to do a few loose ends before we continue on, which we were going to continue on to this lecture building second story. But first, I wanted to take a moment, and uh, we have the Celestial Eye badge, and that gives us access to a few of more of these consumable items, but also this item called the Ro Rosemaranus, Rosemaranus, or Rosemarinus. Rosemarinus sounds right. It's a special weapon used by the choir. High-ranking members of the Healing Church sprays a cloud of s sacred mist created by using blood-imbued quicksilver bullets as special medium. Arias are heard wherever sacred mist is seen, proving that the mist is a heavenly blessing. O oh, fair maiden, why is it that you weep? And I also wanted to take a look at, what was it? Oh, the, a few chalices that we picked up. So we picked up many of these, and, and we looked at the Thumeru one before. Um, the uh, Really, we know that the old labyrinth was carved by the Thumerian superhuman beings that are said to have unlocked the wisdom of Eldritch Truth. From there, the College of Bergenworth found the the runes of that place. And so then we can continue. Um, you kind of get the same thing on each chalice of the Thumeru. We have a Hintertomb chalice. And it's a chalice that breaks the labyrinth seal. Hintertombs are the peripheral catacombs of the old underground labyrinth. To this day, the Watchers continue to expand the Hintertombs. Unceremonious catacombs filled with graves and death. And then we have Aileen Lauren Chalice, which we've found the Lauren Silver Beast in the Nightmare Frontier. A chalice that breaks the labyrinth seal, Lauren is a tragic land that was devoured by the sands. The tragedy that struck this alien land of Lauren is said to have its roots in the scourge of the beast. Some have made the dreaded extrapolation that Yarnum may be next. Yarnum's not in good shape, but apparently Aileen Lauren was completely wiped out. Now we have the Great Eyes Challenge. <laughs> chalice. A chalice that breaks a labyrinth seal. Great chalices unlock deeper reaches of the labyrinth. The Great Eyes Challenge, or Eyes Chalice, became the cornerstone of the choir, the elite delegation of the Healing Church. It was also the first Great Chalice brought back to the surface since the time of Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have audience with Ebriatus. It's the first brought back since the time of Bergenworth. So, the choir, part of the Healing Church, though split from perhaps the main part, were able to have audience with Abriatus, which is why we found her in the area of the orphanage in the upper cathedral ward. Bergenorth surely would have given a lot to be able to have audience with Abriatus as well. So we are going to go to Castle Canehurst, specifically Queen Annalise's, uh, must be this one, Queen Annalise's, uh, wow. Okay, I'm having reading problems, apparently. Vile Blood Queen's Chamber. Okay, I was missing it because I was looking for a word starting with C, not Forsaken. So, we're heading to her chamber, which is in a poor state 
well, it would have been. We have since turned back time for her, and we want to check in on her. The reason we're doing these in this episode is because the lecture building should be a fairly short area, and then it will take us to a new area, and that's where we will just stop. Closest of kin, bearer of our blood, I welcome thee. What is thy wish? So she doesn't really offer any new dialogue or too much. She she does recognize us as being closer to her than anyone. But I was hoping that her helmet would we be gone. Thy return for the honor of Kanehurst. Because She's essentially trapped in there, and I was hoping that her destruction and restoration would have freed her from that. Okay, I can hear it. There it is. So now we will head to... We will return to the lecture building second story. That should be this nightmare one since it is trapped in the nightmare. We've gone through the entire bottom area, not that there was much to it, but now we're going to the second floor. All right. And we have not explored at all. So let's head out. So we can see more of the students transformed by the nightmare or by the rituals performed here. And they seem to be patrolling on or wandering on each side. There's many of them there. Which I can't get to. So they have their uh, beakers that they throw this stuff at us. And then they'll drink them and spew the stuff too. So I haven't looked at all at whether there are rooms we can go to because they're just flooding the place with this stuff. So we'll just keep moving. Okay, there's a church giant over there. That should be all of them. Nope. There's one chasing me down. Alright. So we have a corner over here. The church giant. But let's check these other corners first. Let's start at the end we were at. I don't think that there's anything down there, but just to be as thorough as we can. You'll see that's the area we were at before. So we came in through here. There's a door over here. It's anything like the first floor. There was a student above that fell. I guess they aren't performing the same trick twice. We have sedatives. There he is. They knew you were going to suspect the same trick, so they tweaked it a bit. Alright. So we can't continue on that side. So we'll run along this side and just check the little nooks. 
though you will hit blank ones like that like this and we have a note here three third chords it doesn't really elaborate on much but it does inform us that there are at least three of the one-third umbilical cords it seems to be implying that whoops so these are the also known as the cord of the eye, every infant great one has the precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. And so that seems to be what it is referencing. In these cages, it looks like the slugs or the celestial little creatures that are in the upper cathedral ward. And bit of a variation on his hands appear to be on fire all right so let's go check on him So we got twin bloodstone shards and we have a ladder here in the corner. But before we head down, let's just check everywhere. We've got a view of the classroom that we've been in before. And I remembered the student on the ceiling there. We came in from over there and he dropped down Here we have another communion room. And that was it in that room, right? Yeah. So it's a larger room, but, or actually it's leading out into the hallway, but it is just blocking our path. And one of the few where it would be a visible note, but we can't read that one. There was no point to that other than I felt like it. All right, so again, we have that in the corner, but let's check down this hallway. And we hit a dead end over here. So, I would say nowhere to go but down that hatch, but actually there is. Just like on the first floor, we have a door where smoke or fog is coming through. 
But that is the last place we're going in this episode. But before that, let's head down. Ornate rocking chair. And a giant spider with an odd bald head clinging to the doorway. We just gained insight. And that is the face that was peering through us, talking to us through the door, mocking us and saying how we should be grateful because we have knowledge of the Great Ones now due to him. As he's the one from the Forbidden Woods that gave us the tonsil stone, and he's the one who laughed as as Amygdala grabbed us and took us to the nightmare. And so, let's talk to him. He's looking out there for us. <laughs> oh, this cannot be. You cannot be. No, you didn't. Lord Amygdala? Oh, how did this come to pass? Now, wait just a moment. Do you think he'll have me? Me? He's also the one who kicked us off the ledge in the Nightmare Frontier, so of course I oh, think he'll have him. It pains me to hear it. You've made yourself a misreckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you're witness to a miracle, and all the stronger for it. It's plain as a pike staff. Now, Say in my heart, you were as a lamb to my God. Well, you weren't to know, and it wasn't for you to know. All's well that ends well, I say. <laughs> this is Patches the Spider. Patches is a trickster in all of the From Soft Souls games. And he just talked about us being witness to a miracle, which we may remember the note in the Nightmare Frontier. It said this way to witness a miracle. And when you went, he kicked you down into a pit. No matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Let this express what words cannot. Oh, d doubt me not, sweet compere. What is friendship? But a chance encounter. <laughs> ah, well met. My apologies, but I feel a profound thought occurring. On the good grace of a certain God and the way he meted out his love. <laughs> He has a certain thought occurring on the good grace of a certain god and the way he meted out his love. Ah, well, my apologies. On the good grace of a certain god and the way he meted out his love. <laughs> Don't know what exactly that's in reference to. We can open this door, though, if we ever should come from the first floor of the lecture hall, at least lecture building, at least this way, we could get into here quickly. And then that leaves only this doorway and discovering where it takes us. The doorway on the bottom floor took us to the Nightmare Frontier. And this one takes us to the Nightmare of Mensis. Look at the rock structure here. Where I've talked before about certain things appearing man-made, you would think that, but being in a nightmare, I could be I could believe that this is the way the rocks actually formed. So we will continue forward to the first lamp, and then we'll do the Nightmare Frontier from there.
actually, no, there's a little ways to that. So we are just going to end the episode in the safety of this cave and do the Nightmare Frontier all as one episode. So continue on to the next episode if you want to see that. And thank you for tuning in.